All right, so we know that this is the amplifier and this is the leveling circuit. And uh, so the leveling circuit uh, outputs a voltage to control this pin, pin diode attenuator. And uh, it also inputs the amount of power it sees uh, through this detector diode over here. And so I had an epiphany, uh, pull out the op amp, <laughs> okay? So I've pulled out the op amp and now I have access to the input of the leveler and the output of the leveler and I can control the uh, leveler all by myself if I want to. So that's what I'm gonna do right now, okay? And so let me see, let me turn on the uh, spectrum analyzer. That's what we're gonna use today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna input uh, zero to 500 megahertz, sweep this thing. And we'll take a look at the amplified gain of the system. And then I will input a voltage into the, uh, uh, into this pin diode uh, modulator and we'll uh, see if we can't change the amount of signal and uh, see what's uh, going on. And also I haven't swept this uh, amplifier before so we'll see how flat the amplifier itself is without leveling. Um, so we have to wait for the, oh, there it goes, it's already up. Okay, so I'm going to turn on the um, frequency from 0 to 500 megahertz. I'm going to turn on the uh, tracking generator. And uh, then uh, let me turn the power on to the, to the amplifier. And there, there we go, look at that. All right, so... Um, <clears throat> it had a little too much power, so I have a 20 dB pad in there. So let me add the 20 dB pad, amplif uh, offset of 20 dB. So right now uh, we're getting out about 10, plus 10 dBm, maybe plus 5 dBm there. Um, and we can uh, control the voltage. <clears throat> So what I've done is I've pulled out the op amp. Pin one was the output of the op amp that runs the uh, pin diodes. And so I'm going to control that with this voltage. So right now it's 6.9 volts. Um, and if I reach over, put that on camera. If I reach over and I change this, uh, you can see we're starting to increase over here. Let me change the units. Oh, not the units, the uh, scale. Let's do 5 dB. And if I change, there we go. So you can see this is going up and down with the voltage into the uh, pin attenuator. And so at two and a half volts, we're getting plus 5 dBm. And if I come up here to uh, seven and a half volts, I'm getting plus 10. And if I come up here to the full, here, 17 volts, we're getting about plus 12 dBm. Um, so it's a little bit low. It should be outputting at least plus 13 dBm. So maybe one of the transistors is a little sick. But anyway, it's fairly level. It's got a little funny little bump in it and stuff. But, but what I want to demonstrate, though, is that the... Uh, leveling circuit should be able to level. Oh, there we go. I went down too low. So if I go down here to half a volt, yeah, that's not enough. So down here, 0.6 volts up to 10 volts kind of thing is kind of where it's region, where it's region is. So it's working, working quite well. Now, the other thing we can do, let me turn on a uh, voltmeter here. The other thing we can do is we can monitor the voltage that we have on the output section here. Okay, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and increase the power here. And um, it's a little bit jumpy, definitely a little bit jumpy, but it's around minus half a volt. Let me go here up in power. Now it's around 0.7 volts. Let me go all the way up. And we get about uh, one volt. And so uh, that is the voltage uh, 
right here coming in coming in, into the op amp so on pin this pin of the op amp that's what we're seeing the voltage come in and then the output would be uh, the thing that we were driving earlier so it all seems to be functioning of course right it's always that way it's like well it seems to work but then it doesn't when you put it all together so anyway one more data point in uh, what's going on here um we might as well have a little teaching moment here let's see here let me move things a bit all right so how does the input attenuator work well it uses these diodes okay so the diodes will conduct if they're forward biased and they won't conduct if they're not forward biased and you can think of the amount of dc voltage across them as the amount of onness how much you know how much they're able to conduct but then there's an ac signal that runs through this thing so i did a video once on pin diode switching and that's basically the same thing going on here it's pin diode switching but we are uh, biasing the, tr the uh, diodes on a little harder and a little harder and a little harder. And that comes through this resistor here. It, it comes to the middle point here. And, and uh, then the DC path would be this away through this, uh, through this uh, uh, inductor and this away through this inductor. So there's a DC path here to ground, a DC path this way to ground. So the more positive voltage you put here, the more conductive these uh, two diodes will be, and then it will allow the signal to pass. The other thing we were looking at is on the output. Uh, the output comes through here. There's a, a small signal diode here that uh, rectifies the signal onto a capacitor. Um, and so there's a, a 500 picofarad capacitor here with 100 ohms, and so you store a little bit of current or a little bit of voltage on this capacitor. And so that's that's like a power detector, a, a diode detector, and that voltage then uh, comes into the op amp circuit. So that's what we were doing. We were looking at the voltage out of this thing, and we were inputting voltages into that thing. All right, I've made some measurements, and uh, this uh, amplifier here has a 20 dB gain, and uh, the input is about minus 10 dBm um, as measured. And so we should get about plus 10 dBm out of the thing. And uh, so I have it uh, here. I'm, dr I'm driving it with the module from inside um, the wave tech. So it's wired up like it would be. It's getting its input from the pre-driver and we're looking at its output. And then we can drive the uh, attenuator on the front end okay so what I can see is at a hundred megahertz uh, there's some amplitude level I'm just gonna call it kind of from that uh, tick to that to that uh, radical to that radical right um, and if I adjust the uh, input attenuator then that let's say that's where the level is and and that's where the leveling circuit should be do it okay if i go to uh, 200 megahertz you see it's down so we can use the attenuator and we can bump that up again we're up around 15 volts now on the attenuator and then if i go to uh, 300 it's about the same oh, 400 is too high so we need to add some attenuation to bring it back down around 3.7 volts and you can see this is all working great um, now, if I go to low uh, 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 values here, it's not it's not locking, so it's going to give us a funny number here. But let's uh, let's see here. Let's yeah, let's do 10 megahertz. That's pretty solid. So we'll say 10 megahertz. Uh, we need to bring it down even further. And now we're at 2.2 volts on the uh, on the attenuator. So there we go. So what's happening is that if you leave the um, attenuator on all the time, you will get something that looks like this. And uh, oops. And then your nice uh, sine wave turns into a, a clipped thing 
So you need to bring, bring it down so it turns back into a sine wave again, okay? So that's what's going on. Uh, the amplifier is clipping. It's being driven too hard, which means that the feedback loop is either not working or not working correctly. It may be that it's working, but it's not set at the right values for whatever reason. I don't know why yet, but let's see if we can't fix the leveling circuit. So this thing always levels at some particular point. It should be able to do that. Um, so I need to kind of reverse engineer this, uh, this section here and see what's going on now. Um, this thing here I don't think does anything and this thing here doesn't do anything. It just looks to see the output and it's at, if it's at a certain value it says you're unlocked or unleveled and it just outputs. So this is so we can ignore that. We can ignore that. We can concentrate just on this, which is a different differential amplifier. It looks at the input and um so what I don't understand yet is if this diode wasn't there, then we would have th this 18 volts divided by a certain amount, and that's the set voltage. Then whatever voltage comes in, it needs to have, it needs these two voltages to be the same. Um, and so, yeah, we'll need to calculate some of these values and make sure it is what I think it should be. Make sure it doesn't go above, you know, four volts or so at, at 10 megahertz. And yeah, I don't know exactly what's going on yet, but I think we're getting to the bottom of it. There's something wrong with the level circuit. All right, some progress here. So this um, uh, voltage coming in from the uh, detector diode is a negative voltage. It's around negative, uh, negative three volts or something around there, negative something or other. And um, so it's going and getting compared. So the other side should be about negative three volts as well. And if you take a look at this dividing string here, it goes to plus 18, not minus 18. So this is always positive. So the way that this works is there's a leveler input. Do you see that? Uh, there's a leveler input. So this has to be off board coming in and it has to be at some level that's around minus minus three volts or so. Um, so yeah, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and put the uh, op amp back in so it's operating and I've hooked up a negative voltage to pin 15 which is the level or input and now uh, here's my negative voltage. So I can adjust the uh, op amps threshold. And if I go too big, it starts to clip again. So the uh, pin 15 has to be the correct value. So that's what's wrong with the, with the wave tech, not the module, but pin 15 is at fault. And I do not know where pin 15 comes from. Uh, where the signal comes from. So anyway, uh, I think the module itself now is perfectly fine and it's always been perfectly fine. It's just that uh, whatever leveler input, I need to figure out which module that comes from and we'll try to figure out what uh, what's going on there. Okay, well the plot thickens. Um, this didn't seem to be working when I put the module back in, and so I just was measuring plus or minus 18. I could measure plus 18, but minus 18 wasn't, wasn't there. And then I noticed that the wiring loom is different, that it's always color-coded, that um, uh, the plus 18 is always orange and the minus 18 is always yellow. But up here, it goes into coaxes. Well, yeah, really weird. And then the coaxes run up, run down here, see here they run run down here and they run in here and then they run to this connector which plugs into the front panel and sure enough there's plus or minus 18 here on coaxes so I guess they needed to shield it it was picking up noise or something and <clears throat> if I measure the connector on the PC board I get plus or minus 18 
but I don't get it through the connector. And then, I don't think this is going to show up on camera, but um, if you look in the end of the connector, one of the connectors is just gone. And it's the minus 18 one. It's like uh, hamsters went in there and ate it. Uh, it's really, really weird. Anyway, so I'm going to disassemble, disassemble this connector and figure out why in the heck is that missing? How did that break? Anyway, should be easy to fix.